We spent the last 24 hours researching, messaging people, and trying to figure out the best places to eat authentic street Mexican tacos in Phoenix, Arizona. Despite the cult-like following and the four and five star reviews, some of these places disappointed us. I wanna go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. However, we did find some that blew us away. <laughs> Good. So watch until the very end. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. We went through the drive-through. It literally was so fast. Fast and convenient how I like it. Oh, there we go. For human consumption. I understand why they can't just use real coffee. It's real. Yeah, okay. You have to try it. No. The whole point of this. No. Even if you just think no, it's nasty. No. Can you just please try just one bite? No, I don't want just to. Just do it. I'll try the lettuce. No, you try the lettuce. <laughs> That's probably the worst part. Okay, this is obviously a joke. We're going to try the best rated taco places here in Phoenix, Arizona. We did a lot of research. We asked a lot of locals. I even post I even made a post on Facebook to the community about what people thought. And we made a list about five to six different places and we're gonna go try them all so stay tuned i don't know what is going to be the best we might disagree I, we're probably going to disagree on something so yeah. we're going to go to the best places so stay tuned let's go are you gonna get rid of that i'm not getting rid of i'm eating it i'm hungry um, so first place we're going to is taqueria el fundador All right, here they go. Let's take a look. Yes, the pineapple on the pastor. That is important to me. Pastor. Pastor. My good. favorite. My favorite. Okay. Oh, unlikely. Mm -hmm. You have to give it. You have to give it a chance. No, the reason I'm saying it's really good is because the pineapple's there. The meat is nicely cooked. It's not like raw. Some places just give it to you raw. They don't really cook it. Like, mmm, the taste is really good. Okay, That's all right, good. I'm excited. I need to try this now, hold on. Put a little sauce in there. Oh, good. Wow. I know. It's crazy because the other places, we'll see, but the Al Pastor and other places are really red. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That's This is the color you're supposed and to this. be. And this. This is not because they know how to cook it. As you can see, it's like it has like a brownish tint. Yeah, they cooked it. It's nice and cooked. Now we have carnitas over here, mm. which I'm really excited to try. But let's see how it is. No initial reaction, so I don't think she's impressed. <laughs> so I expect it. It's dry. All right, I'm gonna put some green sauce because I already am not even gonna try the dryness. Yeah, like it's not it's not like terrible, but you see what I mean? Like the best over is way juicier than this. Yeah. One. Like the flavor is good, but the meat is so dry. Now we're gonna go cabeza, which is brain. Well, it's, yeah, it's brain, cow brain. The meat is completely different to the other ones. I really like this one too. This one is one of my faves. I'm gonna dip it in there because I just want some. Mm, mm hmm. Good? Mm hmm. Just bite it. Yeah. I like it. That's good. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still having Apple Store number one right now. Oh yeah, a hundred percent, I agree. Um, we'll see if Tripa can change it. So Tripa is like literally intestine, and you can see it's like super crispy, almost like bacon. Theirs looks really good. So go ahead, you go first. Mm. No. So the Absolutely best. not. That's the worst one. So the best ones were the ones I ordered. The pastor in cabeza. Taqueria El fundador. El fun. El fundador. Dador. Dador. Da. Da. Dor. Dor. Fun. Fundador. Al pastor is really good. So that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna recommend if you come to this place. It's on Van Buren and Thirty Third Avenue, I think. Um, the others probably steer clear. Cabeza is really good too. Cabeza. Oh yeah, the cabeza too. Cabeza yeah. and pastor. Yeah, the cabeza was good really too. Really good. The other ones you can live without. So, so, on to the next place.
They call themselves the king of tacos. Well, we're gonna see about that. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Have a good one. Have a good Alright, so we are at AZ Taco King. And honestly, they have really good reviews. I think they're 4.2, 4.3 stars. Mm -hmm. Alright, this is the Quesapedia Taco. Look at that cheese, baby. Like, oh, man. Like, this is going to be Justice's favorite. This we is, already know. I love me some cheese. Alright, here we go. Quesapedia. Oh, wow. Good cheese pull there, buddy. Whoa. What? No. No, no. It's good. It's, it has like a kick, like a spice. Like spicy. Dip it. And it's so juicy. And flavors are just, there's a flavor party going on in my mouth right now. Yeah. They're having a party. It's like oh. New Year's Eve right now. Okay. I'm going to dip it in some sauce. Yeah, right there. Oh. Oh. You know, usually you put lime on it. But I think like, that might be a violation for some Mexicans. I didn't put no lime on it yet. No, it's okay. It's, a, it's a, It has cheese in it, so you don't but, really need it. That's super good, and you need to try it. Okay. I know you like. No, I'm gonna go for it. All right. Oh, that's a big bite. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah. You see, what I'm talking about that kick. Like I wasn't expecting that kick. Oh. I have a lot to say. She has a lot. To say. <laughs> okay. Wait, another bite. No. Without the sauce. Listen, I get the hype. Like it's good. It has cheese and meat. Like wow, yeah, it's great. But I don't like the sauce on the meat. It's very overpowering with some. In, like seasoning that I can't. So I said, it's a right now. it's a party of flavors. Yeah, but it's not great. <laughs> okay, the cheese is great, but it's cheese, obviously. Like, congratulations, you have good cheese. But I can't say I want more of it. I like, think you should try it without the cheese. Try no, the video without the cheese. It's like really overpowering. Okay, well, you know, the meat is good though. It's soft. It's tender. It's my my feelings aren't hurt. No, I, 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 I like it. It's right. good though. So I'm gonna eat asada first because that's the one that we haven't had. Yeah, they give you a lot. Some places out here, they, they're cheap with their meat. They don't yeah. want to give you a lot. So this yeah. place at least gives so you a I'm bunch. I'm gonna go for it. Go for it. I do like that there's lime in here though. Like, yeah, maybe put some lime important. on it. I like that you can like make it yourself, so go for it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm okay, it's growing on you. I like it. What is it? Uh, it's good steak though. It doesn't have like a weird flavor like some do. So I really enjoy that. I like it. It's good. This is what we mean. You guys so this is, clearly this... see the difference. Yeah. This this is the al pastor. Well, just to drop some carne asada in there. Yeah, no, I'll take it out there. They give you a lot of meat. Yeah, that's, that's one what, thing. Look at that. And, wow. and one thing too, we haven't talked that. about prices. $2 for this. If you come to the Phoenix area, you might be, in, if you end up going in Scottsdale or some of the other places, and you go to these fancy Mexican restaurants, stay away when it comes to tacos because mm -hmm. so expensive. they charge, I'm not even kidding you, $20 for like three tacos. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not even good. Mm -mm. And they're not authentic. They're mm -hmm. not street tacos. $2 for this, and they're giving you a lot of meat. So, like, hello? This is good. There's no cilantro in there. No cilantro. I don't Are like you cilantro. Happy about that? It tastes like a completely different meat. Right. See what it's I not mean? Not bad, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. big bite. Wow, you need to take big bites, man. Is it the great, too the saucy? Salsa verde? No, the pastor sauce. It's supposed oh. to be a marinated sauce. It's not supposed to be like a gravy where it's in there. So I don't like that. This salsa, however, is very good. I okay, like so their sauces. Their okay. sauces are good. For the people that don't know, what uh, al pastor? What what exactly is it? It's pork. It's marinated pork, and when you do it right. It's supposed to just kind of absorb the marination. You're not supposed to like put it on top and then you're supposed to grill it on like a trompo and that's it. Like it's not okay. supposed to be like a saucy meat. All right, done. All right. she's done. We're... I wanna I wanna go somewhere else. <laughs> Tacos Tijuana, 7th Street in Sheridan, East Sheridan Street. This is a, a shrimp taco. Ooh. There you go. Aggressive. Oh, something came out the back. This is good. 
the shrimp actually has really good taste like it's not just fried and bland you know like it's actually fried tasteful salty mm-hmm the you can see off the bat the tortillas so the are different the tortilla tortilla is different color yeah i mean if this had onion and cilantro like it's supposed to yeah they messed it up it'd be very good um, yeah, well, we know we're just judging the meat because good. onion and cilantro is yeah. going to be standard wherever you the go. Meat, so that's what people want to know is the, meat is the good. actual meat, the actual tortilla. Look at, look that's at this, really what look matters. Look at this pasta. Look at this pasta. Yeah, so uh, this yep, is what you want. This look, kind of looks like the first place. Right. Um, this is asada. That's asada. Give I it a bite. Some steak. Good. This is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. When your eyes squint a little bit and a little smile, it means it's you're happy. I'm, I'm happy. You know, I'm excited. Let me try it. Ooh. Yeah, this oh. is better. Right? Tasty. Not greasy. Well done. Not Good greasy, taste. Well done. All right, now this is the pastor. Yeah. Like if this had onion and cilantro, I'd be very happy. Yeah, this is good. Good meat. It's a little bit. This is um. This is a little bit more well done. That's how she likes it, though. That's how I like it. Like this one you see right here. Oh. Compared to Afundador. Mmm. Mm, this steak is good. Right? I told you. <laughs> I told you. I think if you do, if you want some good carne asada, so far, come I'd here. say come here. Tacos Tijuana. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's good. I know. Get out of my feet. No, Why are you so eating. close? Stop eating all of it. All right, I'll give it to you. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, guys, we have about one or two more to go. It's been an interesting ride so far. So we got one or two more to go. We're going to go to the west side of Phoenix now. We'll see. See you on the other side. Those tacos. These are so cute. Can you see they're like? Yeah, they prepared cones. them. Yeah, they prepared them nicely. Here, this is birria, pastor, barbacoa. Oh no, cabeza. This is cabeza. Sorry. And this is asada right here. That salsa looks good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just to get the. A little smirk, I don't know. How do you feel? I really like it. I don't want to give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, she actually likes something for once. For once, I like the other stuff too, but... Good impression so far from Una's Tacos. And now this is Cabeza, which we had before at El Fundador. They're like really packed, these two. Like, these are like meaty, which I like. Like, look at that. That's yeah. it's a lot of meat. Ooh. Oh. No. Yeah? Oh mm. my god, I gotta go. I gotta go. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. Two for two right now. That was banging. Wow. Mmm. Mm. Best taco of how all day. We've been very faithful to the fundador. This looks really good. Can it overtop the first place we went to, El Fundador? Let's go. Let's the put pasta. Some, throw some lime on here. It's not my fave. I don't know if I can say it's better than El Fundador, but it's mm -hmm. better than Taco King, right? Yeah. Yeah. This one is very similar to the one we just had. The one at um, Tijuana. Very similar. Yeah. I'm not mad at it, though. <laughs> Nothing special, in my opinion. This one um, is the winner. The cabeza, the cabeza. is so good. So good. If you, want, if you like cabeza, come here. Uno's Tacos. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Yeah, that's so good. Mmm. And the carne asada was good. Really good. I like this place. Yep. And she likes it, which means yep. it's good. 
So check this place out, Unos Tacos. Stay tuned. So why don't we have ice cream, you ask? Because we couldn't find the last place. We need a dessert. I wanted to go to a different place. Justice was done. He said, we're wrapping it up. I'm happy because we identified a few different places that had some good different types of tacos. So we're gonna do a little recap. Before I do that, like, comment, subscribe. You already know the deal. Taqueria El Fundador, really good El Pastor tacos. Go there for them. The best. And then we went to AZ Taco King. She says, uh, don't get anything from there. I like their uh, quesadilla, so you can check that out for yourself. Tacos Tijuana, they weren't bad. They were they were pretty good. They had good um, carne asada tacos. The shrimp taco, mm, one of my faves. Uno's Tacos was my favorite. Mm -hmm. Just simply, they were my favorite. So I will be going back there next time. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe if you made it this far, like, comment. And if there's a place that's better than these places that you know of, comment below and let us know so we can go check them out because there's a lot of places out here. In there Phoenix. was literally one over there's, here. There's a place in every corner. And so I it's looking back at it. So are these places the best? Uh, we can't say that. There probably is somewhere out, th something out there that's better. We just don't know about it. So mm -hmm. drop a comment if you know. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll probably do something like this similar, but comparing some other types of food around the area. So. Mm. Oh, we can give a shout out to this place. La yeah. Michoacana. I was going to say, we should probably say where we're at. The Homemade link, Mexican yeah, ice cream. I will link the address so on, in the description. Thank you for watching the video. Hit that bell notification and tell us what you think. See ya. Bye. Bye. Uh, what's the difference between that and the Supreme? Supreme comes with tomato and sour cream. Oh, can I get the Supreme?